Hi, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. I'm proud to present Yana Goes to Kenya, a beautiful book written by Kerubu Wall and illustrated by Janice and Jengo. If you'd like to buy a copy of this book, the link is available in the description at the bottom of this video. Today is an exciting day. Mama, Baba, Nonny and I are visiting our family in Kenya. Kenya is a long plane ride away. To pass time, we read books, colour, eat, watch movies, sleep and walk up and down the aisles before we arrive. Our first stop is the Nairobi National Park. Nairobi is Kenya's capital and the only city with a national park. The best time to see animals is early in the morning, Baba says. At the park, we see giraffes, lions, zebras, gazelles, wildebeests, ostriches, rhinos, baboons and birds of all sorts. Baba drives so close to a lion that we all hold our breath and hope it does not pounce on us. Next, we drive to Nakuru. My grandfather is so happy to see us that he gives Nani and I a chicken. My family has prepared delicious food. We eat Nayama, Chama, Ugali, Moboga, Maziwa, Mala and fresh fruit. My favorite fruit is Mayambe. Later, we play with our cousin and her friends. We speak in Kiswahili and English. Mama and Baba decide to go on a trip to climb Mount Kenya, the second highest peak in Africa. When they get back, we ride a Matatu to Lake Nakuru. Matatus are vans that people take to work and school every day. They play loud music and have art on the outside. At Lake Nakuru, we see thousands of tall, pretty pink flamingos. The following week, we go up country to visit more family. On our way, we see fields of green plants. The vegetation you see is tree shrubs, Grandpa tells us. Kenya exports a lot of tea, he adds. Along the streets and outside homes, we see cows, chickens, goats and sheep. Mama points out bananas, maize and sugarcane. There are avocado, coffee and loquat trees everywhere. Grandpa's sisters welcome us with food, song and dance. They give us beautiful gifts carved from soapstone. We say goodbye to Grandpa's sisters and drive to the Maasai Mara for a safari. Maasai Mara has many wild animals, including the big five, lions, elephants, buffalo, rhinoceros and leopards. Every year in July and August, over one million wildebeests, zebras and gazelles migrate from the Serengeti in Tanzania to the Maasai Mara in Kenya. It's called the Great Migration, the Seven Wonders of the World. This is awesome! Nonny shouts. Later, we watch Maasai dancers. The men jump so high and the women move their necks up and down gracefully. At night, we sleep in a tented camp. We can hear wild animal sounds. What's that noise? Nonny keeps asking. Time is running out, but there is still so much to see. We take the SGR train to Mombasa to visit Fort Jesus. It was built by the Portuguese over 400 years ago. We eat delicious food such as mahamri, pilau, biryani and sambusa. Everyone tries madafu. It's so refreshing, Baba says. Our final stop is my favourite, the beach in Lamu. The sand is white and the water and skies are blue. 
We play in the sand and swim in the ocean for hours. As the sun sets, we enjoy the majestic view on a dhow. Asante, Mama and Baba, for bringing us to Kenya, I say, and give our parents a big hug. Asante, Noni says, and joins in the hug. The end. <laughs>